the energy transition is about uh, pricing the carbon externality and that's about raising the price of carbon in the global economy in order to um, reduce the externality. Um, so that is you know, the fundamental economic problem that we need to deal with. I think that um, Europe is clearly ahead in terms of making progress with the energy transition, both in terms of the setting of targets and getting those into legislation, but also in terms of policies being put in place that would actually deliver net zero. Um, then I think um, other places are at various stages. I think, I think the US is beginning to do things, the federal level, in addition to the things it's already been doing at uh, the state level in some states where essentially California, New York, New England have got European style uh, energy and climate targets. Uh, and then other places you know, can be brought along uh, as part of the energy supply chain. I think China remains a very hopeful location for the world, both in terms of delivering uh, low carbon energy equipment, but also eventually implementing uh, low carbon uh, policies. Well, I think the, 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 the uncertainties are around we're getting to the point where energy transition is going to be expensive. You know, we've been doing the easy things so far, which are the decarbonisation of the power sector with uh, wind and solar. Once we begin to move on to heating and transport, things get significantly more difficult. Um, I think transport, there are good signs in terms of uh, battery technology and the emergence of electric vehicles, but you know, still that's posing problems in terms of supply chains and the delivery of the quantity of vehicles that we might need. And in heating, we're only just beginning to grapple with the political costs of a heat transition which are going to create very different costs for individual households depending on which heating technology they've got the possibility to adopt.